Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 57 of Rupnaut Plays Infinity. So last episode we made our awesome wand recharger in our white world and did a few bits and bobs over this and that and this episode well we are going to do a few more bits and bobs with farmcraft but to do that well not actually to do that we need some mana over at our void world and for that i have seen well we have about a bazillion drones from every type more or less uh, well can imperial and esoteric drones they are just cramping up our system so I was thinking, well, we could actually transfer the mana from the pools via the minecart thingies over to there, or we could do something that I never did. Well, actually we did both stuff, never in any series. But we have those bees, so let's make a begonia. Yep, begonia is what the name suggests. You throw bees at him and then you get mana out of it. So let's get started. Let's have a little look and see how the flowers are doing. We have quite a few so not a problem. We needed yellow ones. We need four pieces. We need black and we need some white. So mystical flowers. We need white and we needed a black one so you yep. nope not what i wanted to do so, four of you it's one set it's two sets and we need only two of you and not 20. yep so let's have a little look you see we need half mana the white mana and one fourth of yellow so let's throw two of you in there and two of you. Awesome. And I never made myself the thingy. Probably not. So let's get our rod of the sea out. Fill him up. Throw you, you, three of you one of you and one of you in there and now some seeds shouldn't be a big problem we have a bunch of them so, well really what did i do wrong so we have in there free yellow a yellow mana white really are you kidding me should be right Ah, the black one needs to be mana. Mm, so, give me my black one back, please. Whoop, whoop. Black. And you, and you. Awesome. Filling him up again. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. And bam. Two begonias. Done. So, because they will probably need a little bit to work, we need a mana detector first, so that we don't waste any mana. For that we need a comparator, awesome, got everything, and mana detector, done. We will need a hopper, bam, probably... Hmm, some red alloy wire wouldn't be a bad idea, probably. And also a timer block. Can we make one? new? No. You. Thank you. And one of you. Perfect. And you are missing those guys. Perfect. Timer done. That should be probably maybe everything so let's head over to our void world 
And like I told you at the end of the episode, I did the infusion for the infusion provider, hooked him up over here, got myself all the Essentia into our system, which is nicely cooking up, which is awesome. And of course we have the thingamabob down there, so everything that we throw in there gets done and done, which is kind of awesome. And let's go quickly down here, and of course it's hooked up directly to there, so nothing really fancy going on here just yet but you have to wait a little bit then we will do something more awesome than we already are doing now with the bees so we got a mana pool here Ooh, do i have a gaia mana spreader probably not do i have an elven one mm, probably also not petal luckily we have a mana pool already here so and of course, I should throw it into the mana pool and not surrounding it. So, Gaia Mana Spreader. Thank you very much. Perfect. So, you will be there. You get there. Our hopper. Actually, we need also a little bit something else. So the open crates is always a nice, really nip is always a nifty little thing because well he is just throwing it on the ground in a straight pattern which is really awesome because otherwise so let's remove that it can be a nonsense to do so you go there. Now, what else do we need? A line of thing over here. So there, can we place them? No. Can we place it up there? No. Uh, there is working. So probably Let's move this contraption just a tad. So here and here. There, there, and there. And now our hopper can go there, probably if we remove that one. So, whoop, whoop. And are you doing your thing? Maybe. Timer, input, output, perfect. And I should have made myself also a not gates because dope. Not gates. Bam, we need more or less everything. We need a few pieces of you. And I made one. Zack. And the middle one is that. And that. And not gate. Done. Perfect. Mm. Mm. Let's do a little bit of removing. Not gate. There. Timer. There. Bam! And let's bump him up to 10 seconds. Just for testing reasons, let's get some bees. Bee, nah, well, not begonia, we need some drones. Let's make a few of them. So, mm, 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 mm. Yep, you are doing your thing. Really? Was that everything? Huh. Mm. 
let's have a little look and see how the mana is doing with our wand. Rup. We are not really. Whoops. Not standing on there is always a good idea. And you are not really making a lot of mana, right? Nope. Nope. But we have a million of the bees, so I won't worry too much. He can run on forever, more or less. So, now that we have some mana generation over in our farmcraft area, we can do some things. There is something really nifty and that would be the Essentia Provider. For the Essentia Provider we will need a few bits and bobs. We should have Permutatio. Let's have a little look and see. So, Permutatio, not enough. Well, enough. Although, not enough. Recantatio, not enough, but Machina, we should have everything awesome. So let's search a little bit of order, which should be... Let's have a little look, you see, in our awesome Formonomicon, who is telling us everything that we need to know. So Odo is on pretty much not uh, the beeswax. How much are we for beeswax? Yeah, quite a lot. Let's throw that in there. But only 16 pieces for now. Yeah. And we need a little bit of magic. So let's have a little look and see where that's up. Pretty much in a lot of stuff. Wax. Ooh, you would have a lot of different thingies up there, which is kind of nice. So let's get a little bit of you done. And he is doing his thing. In the meantime, let's get an interface. Bam. Come on. Thank you very much. Interface done. And let's have a little look you see in here what the essential provider needs. Mm -hmm. We need diffusion core and coalescence core. So diffusion. And let's actually take a look at the course. We have the coalescence already. So we need just the diffusion core. And I'm pretty sure I never scanned that one. So let's have a look and see what he has all the aspects. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. So done. You can go away. And the other pieces. Well, some water shards few filtered essentia tubes filtered essentia tubes we need two pieces thank you very much let's get some balanced shards cooking and i placed just a normal redstone furnace over here because i was too lazy to teach the recipe to our system because we need to Put another furnace down because if we take a little look, whoa, whopping effects happening, which is always somehow not nice. So, if we take a little look, you see, furnace, yep, our redstone furnace is already full with the last thing that I put in there the quicksilver from Cinnabar. So, that's cooked up. How are you doing? Almost, almost. So, let's have... We have, we have. Perfect. Did we need something else? No, yeah, we should have. Yeah, we should be good. We should be really good. 
So you go in the middle, you surrounding, you surrounding, and you surrounding. Ah, the water shards. Two water shards. Perfect. So, bam. And you there and there. You guys can chill out here and here. You go there and there. And you go there and there. And now let's snag our wand. Whoop. And bam. Hopefully no instabilities will happen. Because that would be very bad. I have no spare parts. Well, actually only the shards are, have some spares. But meh. it's just a minor and... We have, like I said in the last episode, a load of stabilizing aspects here, so shouldn't be a big problem. And as you can see, he is sucking out from our system through the Essentia Pro or Infusion Provider, putting it into our Infusion Altar, and then he is doing his thing by sucking up the items. Yes, awesome! Very awesome. And because we have all that stuff in here, we can also do a little bit more. So let's keep a close eye on this. How are you doing? Just a little bit more order and then you can do the permutatio. And then we should be fine. Yeah. So, sucking up the items, a little bit of water shards, mm -hmm. the essential filters, mm -hmm. some more Salis Mandus, the Thingamabob core, and last one, awesome, we got our essential provider, perfect. Now what can we do with that essential provider? Well, remember, we have this whole contraption here to make stuff, the balance charts. Well, we don't need to cook them up again in here or in here. We can just plop down back there. Well, not this one because I kind of like this being here, but if we make another furnace, the alchemical furnace of course, do we have everything, more or less nothing, so a little bit of furnace action, and a crucible, we also don't have, so whoop, I need you, and let's make a few cauldrons, so whoop, Just so that we have them for next time when we need them. Yep. Actually, we don't need the furnace. Dope. So, note that, but we still will need one cauldron, which is awesome. And now, let me take a little thinking. The alchemical construct. Yeah. So, do we have everything? Well, almost. Almost. Let's put you in there, get two of you, and we need actually four of you, right? So, yeah. So, another two. Bam. And a few tubes. Oh, let's make a bunch of them. One, two. Perfect. Do we have some nitro? Yes, we have even more awesome. Let's go down and have a little look to see where we want to put up this contraption. Probably I'm thinking we have this whole area unused here. So let's do it here. We will... Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, let's put it here, 
put down our nitor, get you there, and you need to be there. You can go there and come on there. Thank you. And our essential provider we go after we converted it, of course. Come on. Yep. Want. Thank you. And let's go down. Transform him to whoops. An alchemical construct furnace thing bob so. You can chill out here, maybe, yeah, why not? And now we need a few cables. And I really should do the wireless thing here, yeah. Desperately needing it, but not yet. Probably maybe between the episodes, maybe never, who knows? Well, you guys probably know me. I will probably never do it. Maybe. Probably. So, you... Hmm... No. Can go on to this side. So, whoop. Nope. That. Thank you. Well, over there. Perfect. And let's color it to the usual red color. Bam! And we still need an interface. You know what? It's getting complete nonsense. Let's make a crafting terminal. And put one down there because I'm going crazy to jump around always. So, interface. Bam! Ah, he was actually already done, but let's place it right here. Yes. So how many channels are coming in here? Eight. Ah, not that much. So interface. Thank you. And the interface can go there. We just need a chest, chest, mm, iron chest should suffice, we need some item, yeah let's use the impulse item ducts, why not, we need some servos, Meh. yeah, why not, let's use the just iron ones, you, you, go there and you are probably hopefully yes not connecting and a little bit of telephone going on so sorry for that we are going to mm, eat some sushi today so they were probably just calling to tell me they are on the way so that's that and now we can teach our system how to make stuff which is pretty awesome because let me have a little look you see in here formium is made by alchemy formium for precantatio and some iron ingots so if we tell him iron bam if you throw one iron in there, you get one of you out. Bam, bam, bam. And now let's also tell our system. Bam, bam. And he is sucking out from the essential provider, the thingamabob. So if we do this and tell him, give me some more formium, please, maybe. So two should suffice for now. Come on, do your thing. Are you kidding me? Why did you place some formium in there? Or did I just place it in there? Probably. Ah, connection on the wrong sides. You go away, please. Mm, where is my other wrench? So that's that. 
then bam and now he is working because he is now not inputting there anymore the formium in there but into there and again you are doping me around really <sighs> Priority is still down, so let's get the storage cell out, place it in there. And I tried to make the update, but, uh, well, let me tell you guys, it didn't work out really well. Well, actually, it was not a big deal, but I don't like the new one. There is missing a lot of stuff that I want to try out still, especially the form craft thingy, the formic horizons, because it seems like a well, some kind of nice things. Never played with it, so I want to play with it. And therefore, mm, chunk loaders are missing, or the normal ones. That you only have the railcraft ones and the mine factory reloaded ones and not the chicken chunks which are the most awesome chunk loaders that I know of and because we are not playing on a server so well we are playing but not with other people there shouldn't be any issue with any luggage which is kind of awesome so now that we have formium ingots learned let's make just a tether more and that would be the mnemonic matrix. Yeah, mnemonic matrix. Perfect. Thank you very much. Because we want to make now some nitor. And nitor is just glowstone. Glowstone. Thank you very much. Let's also put some torches in there. Well, 20 should suffice for now. To get some looks, we should have potentia for ages, fire, we only have seven. Hmm, what did have fire aspect on it? What did we use here? The gunpowder, yeah, gunpowder. Ooh, gunpowder. Whoop, half a stack. Should be fine. So if we go down and place down our mnemonic matrix, come on, on top, bam, we have now a few more spaces left to teach our system what to do. So you, no, I want some nitor, bam, awesome. Nitor here gets sucked into our system and into our storage cell probably. Yep. But why do you have four items in you? You are still really kidding me. So there seems really to be a little bit of derpage. Maybe I will try to upgrade to not the two point something version, maybe to the one point. 12 something maybe we will see and have a little looky try to do that but for now we are pretty much cruising ah, I completely forgot made myself the music for the world back where I stored all my music discs and also a jukebox and I wanted to do that at the beginning of the episode but Dopage. So let me at least finish you with some world music. Da -da. So for now, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode. It was quite a bit of fun. We made some bits and bobs over here for our mana recharging. We made the automation for crafting Essentia into stuff via the alchemical construct thingamabob teach him with the mnemonic matrix some new things and he knows now how to make nitor and formium ingot 
And of course, if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate if you could drop a like. And if you are new to the channel, you could consider yourself subscribing. And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.